Hello everybody! If you're new here, welcome to my channel, and if not, then welcome back to another one of my videos. So today's video is going to be my reading wrap-up for the month of October. I honestly cannot believe that October is over. Like, I feel like I'm just getting started, and it's fucking over. I am not prepared for this in any way, whatsoever. But at the same time, I am kind of excited that we get to move on to November, because I am very excited for November. As much as I was excited for spooky season, I feel like I may have jumped on the bandwagon too early, because now it's October 31st when I'm filming this, I'm feeling like I just want to get off the train. <laughs> like, get me off. I was so excited for it, and I feel like I can only keep up that excitement for so long, so honestly, as much as I loved the spooky season and it was so much fun, I'm pretty excited for November and to like move on, you know? And to fucking have a TBR that isn't like extremely strict. Oh my god. Anyway, welcome to my wrap up. We're gonna go over the books that I read in October. I don't actually know how many I read. I feel like I probably read around 18. Uh, I had one book that just took me like five days to read. If you watch my vlog, you know which one that is. But yeah, it took me forever to read and I feel like it really set me back. But overall, October was a great month. I started out strong with a vlog. Loved those books. I think all of them were above four stars and all of them I loved. I think. <laughs> I can't exactly remember which books they were. But anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun on that vlog and I will look back at that and be like, mm, that was a great era for me. I know that era lasted like a week long, but anyway, if you're new to my channel, please stick around, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, let's get into this. Okay, so first book, um, I read these all for a vlog, so I'm not going to talk too much about them because you can see my like full, full thoughts in that vlog, but we first read Losers by Harley LaRue and honestly, I wasn't too hyped up for starting this book, but Oh my god, did I have such a fun time reading it? Like, this book, it was amazing. It was not really spooky. I kind of thought we would have a little bit of it uh, because of the dare, and which this book is based off of. And I wasn't upset at that at all. I had such a fun time reading this. It was so good. I rated it 4.5 stars, definitely. And for on um, the spice scale, this is a reverse harem. So it was like spicy and I was literally addicted. This is in a duet and the second book comes out sometime in December, I'm pretty sure. I'm very excited for that one. Very excited. Uh, next up, I read Wicked Little Sins by A.R. Beck. Um, I actually didn't read it. I DNF'd it. At, uh, I didn't say what I DNF'd it at. But I feel like I wasn't the only one that DNF'd this one. A few other people that I followed on Goodreads did not like this one very much. It honestly felt a little bit too high school for me. I found the characters like really annoying and it was step-sibling and I was like, mm, no, I can't do it because it felt like the cliche is we're gonna come on strong and I didn't really want that so I DNF'd it. I'm pretty sure I DNF'd it like 20% so I like to think I gave it a shot. And then the next few books I also read for the vlog. I took a break for that DNF because I was like I don't like including DNFs in my vlogs. I just don't like them. Then I read The Isle of Sin and Shadows by Carrie Lake. Oh my god, you guys, I'm in love with this book. This was so fucking good, okay? This is like a creepy southern ghost story, like haunted, um, tension-filled mystery romance? I don't know what I just said, but I think that summed it up. This was so, so good because like the mixture of the creepy stories that it had in it, the mystery, the spice, the tension between them, the couple, and like everything about this, I loved. Absolutely loved it. Um, This might have been my first five star read of the month, but I feel like it was 4.75. Yeah, so um, very close to a five star read. Very, very close. But I haven't read anything five stars in like for fucking ever, so I just didn't want to do that. I don't know. I got the paperback after I uh, read it. I got it a few days ago, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. I rated it three out of five on a spice scale as well. And then I read The One and Only Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, a lot of people wanted to know my thoughts on this. It's like a well known book. Coho is like a very well-known author and this is my second Coho book and I will say I'm probably not gonna read more from her. Um, I read Ugly Love and this one. This one my favorite by far. I rated it I think four stars. It was so fucking confusing and it's not really a romance so I didn't rate it on the spice scale but I loved it and I was consumed by it but also it was slightly disturbing, very creepy and I had mixed feelings about it but at the same time I really enjoyed it so I did rate it four stars and obviously I didn't rate it on the spice scale 
it's not a romance, so it has, like, romantic elements. But, yeah, this was a wild fucking ride. I vlogged this one, too, guys. You should check it out if you want to see my full thoughts. Then I read Lovely Bad Things by Trisha Wolf. Um, this was my only, like, semi-flop of that reading vlog. This one, I feel like it was just really messy and discombobulated, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. It follows, like, a serial killer and a criminal profiler. We love that. But it felt too similar to Trisha Wolf's other books for me, and the only good thing about it was the gore and the horror and the tension between the couple and the rest was so fucking confusing and I think she really put a lot of research into this like she did a lot of effort for this book but unfortunately I just couldn't get with it it wasn't for me um I rated it three stars and then three stars on the spice scale as well but the next book I read is the other book by Carrie Lake which is Master of Salt and Bones uh I will say I didn't love this as much as The Isle of Sin and Shadows but this was still really fucking fun uh if you love a good age gap kind of like forbidden um tortured hero like yeah totally here um my only issue with this was that it had like too much backstory to it that they were always in the past rarely in the future a lot of mystery but it was not very well wrapped up i did really enjoy it i don't remember what i rated it i think i rated it like four stars really fun kind of spicy 3.5 on the spice scale but not as good as the isle of sin and shadows in my opinion next up i read when it comes by katie ash and honestly this was such a fun fucking book it was kind of lighthearted, but it was really fucking fun so it follows the heroine who is just having everything in her life like go wrong like she works at a dentist's office and then she um like hands something to a customer and it gets like dropped out of nowhere and then like he goes to pick it up for her and be like nice because he was kind of flirting with her and then the fucking like light breaks on his head like the lamp in the light uh, on the ceiling <laughs> what do you fucking call that anyway and she's like got so much shit going wrong but she when she dreams at night she has this guy that comes to visit her and so basically she has a fucking ghost stalker and I'm not gonna lie, it was hot, it was great. And yeah, I love that element. I feel like it was really fun. And the hero was like, perfectly touch her and I kill you, very fucking petty, cause he could like control his ghost shit for her and it was so fun. Um, and I really liked the way that this one ended. It was a bit different than the other ghost romance I've read and I really enjoyed that. So I rated it four stars and then four stars on the Spice Girl as well. This was like really fun, kind of lighthearted, but a little bit darker, perfect for Halloween and just a great time. Next up I read The Sweet Taste of Betrayal by Harley Beck. This is a horror novella and quite honestly, this was fucking unhinged. Okay, um, I can't even tell you much about it, but, like, it felt like a bad dream. And, like, the imagination that the author had to create this, like, fucking wow. Because it was a mess. It was chaotic. It was insane. It was, like, going everywhere. It's, like, a paranormal, supernatural kind of thing. And, like, literally fucked. I don't know how, what else to say about this. I did not enjoy it. Um, I contemplated DNFing it, but honestly, it was quite entertaining with, with the way that it was fucking terrible. I am hating a bit too hard on it, but don't understand why someone would publish this. I don't understand why you would read this. I could totally just be me, but um, I didn't have fun reading this. Next up is The Hunt by Nicole Green. Yeah, I think I said that name right. Um, this is a kind of suspense book. It's Reverse Harem, and it was kind of like all the other Reverse Harems I've read. It wasn't very interesting. I was in a, like, kind of phase where I was really enjoying reading, and I was devouring every book that I read. And I think it started with the, um, the ghost formats that I'd read a bit before this one, and I just was having a lot of fun reading. So I probably could have DNF'd this. I didn't. Uh, I continued reading, but this book, it wasn't too amazing. It was kind of basic. I mean, it felt like every other reverse harem romance I've read. It kind of felt like Credence, actually, with the way that they're, like, in the fucking mountains, or somewhere really, really cold. But guys, don't take that too seriously. It wasn't like Credence at all. It was just like in the woods and that's why it felt like Credence. But anyway, um, I didn't really enjoy it. Heroin was too reverse harem -y for me. Um, the guys were cool, but like just, this is just one of those three star books. I just had no connection to the characters um, and I did rate it three stars. And then I don't remember what I rated on the spice scale, but oh Lord, here we go. Next one I read was Moto by M. Never. I just choked on my own air, sorry. So I had wanted to read something that wasn't Halloween-y. I was feeling like, we need to take a fucking break from this. So let me read something that's on my TBR that I was going to get to in November. Uh, this was the one I picked. I actually picked two. The next one is coming. But this one is a motocross romance. And I had a week, like, last year... 
I was more than a week maybe where I was fucking obsessed with motocross. I had read a book by Shay Stahl that was thrown by Shay Stahl. It's a sports romance. One of the only sports romances I'll probably ever recommend. Loved it. I was obsessed. It's childhood friends to lovers. It's contemporary. He's a motocross racer, which is kind of like biking but like to the fucking extreme and like kind of fucking crazy but oh my god i love that book so much so when i saw this book um moto and i saw that it was a menage romance and it was motocross called fucking moto right i was like i'm so pumped and honestly guys it was a bit of a hot mess so unfortunately i was really really disappointed in it the next few parts of my review will have spoilers so if you want to read this um would i recommend it probably not but you know you do you this is my spoiler alert though okay so i thought this was a menage romance it was a fucking love triangle and towards the end the one brother got her for like 20 percent, and i was like and she wasn't even missing the other fucking brother and i was like what so it's not menage they were together all three of them for like 40 percent, maybe 60 and then the one brother just got to keep her where while they didn't even fucking talk to the other brother both of them and then they came back and the other brother had this like terminal disease and was dying and then he fucking died then the other brother like swooped in and took her and i'm like what the actual fuck i never liked those like i, I just don't I don't know and that, that's probably why I rated this book so low I rated it three stars kind of deserved a two star but I just that fucking pissed me off I did not like that the next book I read is the dark of you by SM shade and I don't have too much to say on this one but what I do have to say will be filled with spoilers so spoiler alert um if you want to know would I recommend it probably not as well so spoilers um this is a book where everything you think is correct is incorrect she has a stalker but it's in her fucking dreams and she's imagining Imagining him he's not actually stalking her because he's not actually a real person and you got to figure that out at the end and I'm like oh I just wanted to read a fucking basic book I didn't want to read a psychological thriller and it like had no warning of that and I was like I'm sick and tired of this like that's one thing that I feel like I got too much of this season was like the fucking mind games I wasn't in the mood for that why did I get that um I rated this uh three stars because I actually did enjoy it but then when the world got turned upside down and everything was a lie I was like I'm done okay next three I read were for a vlog and that was my last vlog last video on the channel um the first one is prelude by Auden Dar I'm pretty sure it is this one was a fucking hot mess this was terrible I loved like absolutely loved the blurb about this I was like this is my fucking book. This is gonna be amazing. And it wasn't. It was kind of crazy. Uh, the heroine was obsessed with sex. Obsessed with the hero. And it was literally all that she thought about. And I was like, girl, I got a fucking life. But respectfully, she had no other thought on her mind. And I'm like, what? I can't do it with heroines like that. I just could not. Especially with her. Like, 80% of the book was dedicated to her thinking about them fucking. And they didn't even fuck till 90%. And I was like, I cannot. Why didn't I DNF this? Because I was vlogging. And I feel like if I DNF that, I should have picked a whole new fucking book so that I had three books for the vlog. But I didn't want to, so I finished it. I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, the cover is really pretty. Then I read The Controversial Princess by Jodi Ellen Malpass. And I said this in my vlog. I'd heard lots about Jodi Ellen Malpass before. It always feels like a fucking mouthful to say her name, but I had heard lots about her before, uh, about her Mafia series specifically, or maybe standalone, I don't know. And I was like, this one sounds really good. It sounds like there's so much tension in it. It sounds like something I want to read. So I picked it up and I fucking loved it, guys. My full thoughts are in that vlog, but I rated it five stars. My first five star read in a very long time. I might be lying, actually. It might have been 4.75. But anyway, I loved this book so much. The tension, the banter, the chemistry, the sex. It was all 10 out of 10. And yeah, I loved it. And then the next book in the duet, I didn't read for that vlog, but I was just so consumed by this couple that I fucking stopped my vlog plans just so I could finish this. And the other one in the duet is called His True Queen, I think. This one, I didn't love it as much as the first one. I feel like it took a direction that I didn't really want to see, which kind of sucked. I did read it, and I rated it four stars, which is a pretty high rating based on, like, my thoughts on it. But I did that because, uh, I really loved the couple. Their banter was still there, and their chemistry was still there, but... It was just like so much back and forth and the plot took a direction I didn't like. So yeah, didn't love it as much as the first one, but still loved it. Four out of five stars and then probably like 3.75 on the spice scale. 
And then I read Fairy Dale by Veronica Lancet, and this was a very anticipated read for like all of you guys. I was looking forward to it, but then I procrastinated it, and I didn't want to read it, and I read it anyway for a vlog. My full thoughts are in there. <laughs> They're like pretty deep thoughts because I knew everybody was really wanting to see this, but uh, unfortunately I didn't love it as much as I feel like I could have. Uh, I rated it like 3.75 stars, sometimes 4 stars. I felt like it was too long, and some of the plot twists in there, I was just like, mmm. Mm, no. So yeah, I didn't love it as much as I could have. Rated it 3.75 stars and then like 2.5 on the spice scale because this is my first like semi-historical romance and y'all they ain't that spicy. At least this one wasn't. Lastly, I read Blood Orange by Karina Halley and I read a bit of this book uh, for my reading sprints that I did yesterday. It happened on October 30th and this was pretty good. The first bit that I had read during my sprints, I was loving and I gave a little bit about what I was reading um, during that live, but the first bit was so good. I loved Dracula. The heroine was growing on me a little bit. I feel like she was kind of eh to me, but the last bit, oh my goodness, I don't know where the plot went. I feel like it's just went in a totally opposite direction than what I wanted and maybe it was just my expectations but I was expecting something totally different for this book. I feel like so many people hyped it up like people are saying this is the best book they've read all year and to me that's not true. Like, I didn't love this as much as I wanted to. Uh, I will still read the second book in the duet but yeah it kind of let me down a little bit. Don't know if that was because I had too high expectations for it but the last bit was like not it. I didn't love that. Okay everybody that is actually the end of the video. It feels like this was a really short video. My wrap ups are usually much longer than this but I read 16 books so not too too bad. I was kind of expecting more but that's fine. Anyway I have one more spooky season video coming at y'all and then we're gonna move on to the November content. What the fuck? I really hope that spooky season on my channel was everything you guys were expecting. Maybe more? I definitely had so much fun with my content like in in September and October. It is one of my favorite times of the year. I, I love winter. Like, I fucking love winter, you guys. But coming close second is fall and spooky season. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It will be after Halloween when you guys see this. So, I hope you all had a very safe and spooky Halloween. This is like the half conclusion of my spooky season content. I'm kind of shedding a tear. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on some of these. Hope you got some books to put on your TBR for next spooky season, definitely. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great spooky season reading and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon.